like really figuring out a good way of how to uh, capture all the material I need in order to like create this image. Because I mean, the, in a way, maybe people think that the Photoshop is, is the hardest part, but I think yeah. it's really like the planning and figuring out how can I get the material to, to make it all come together. That's really the hardest part. Um, so like really like the, the, the planning and trying to figure out how can I capture something impossible. Yeah. It's, it's really different because like some products really take several years and it's not like it has to take several years. It's yeah. more than like maybe finding the right location or, or like uh, maybe I don't really know how to put it together, like how I want to do it. And, and I just let it take time somehow. But I do manage to create around maybe 10 products every year. So, so I guess like on average, it would take like about a month or one and a half to, to finish each product. I always try to um, capture as much as I can in camera because, I mean, it automatically becomes more realistic if I can capture it in camera. But of course, it's not practical to do everything in camera. So it's really like a balance about trying to figure out how much effort would it be to actually try to capture this for real and like build props and stuff. Um, so it's a lot about that problem solving that, that takes a lot of time. And, and uh, but I think like perspective and light is really like the main parts of, of uh, combining images and making it look realistic. You can't really cheat with that. You have to photograph it in similar perspective and the light has to be pretty similar. And if it isn't a, sim a similar light, you have to like create the same light with a flash or something. So, so it's really like, uh, I learned this by, by trying and failing many times. And I realized that like, I really have to, uh, I mean, the, the more you can photograph on location, the more time you save in post-production. And it's really like something I realized the hard way, I think. I mean, it already started when I was a child and I always liked drawing. And I think uh, already back then, I, I liked looking in these like uh, children's books and, and just trying to, uh, you know, I got inspired for drawing as well. And, and I think it's it never really stopped. I think sometimes the, the world needs a bit more magic because like when we grow up, we learn that magic doesn't exist. And yeah. I kind of like to bring a little bit of that magic back into the world sometimes. So, yeah. It's been an inspiration to me. I think just the way that he thinks that he was a more of a mathematician yeah. and like really like a calculating person and and uh, someone living between art and and science in a way. And I think uh, it it reflects the way that I work as well. That it's really a lot of problem solving and trying to figure out how can I create this il illusion or this like impossible thing, but but do it in a realistic way. And I, I think. Uh, that way of thinking is kind of similar in a way. My work is sometimes about, like, like I mentioned before, to put a bit of magic back into the world, like from the children's books. But sometimes it's also about more like a specific topic or something I've been thinking about. I like to pick to ask questions, you know, like, so it's almost yeah. like I'm trying to tell a story, but in one single frame. And, and, uh, and telling a good story is about trying to create questions in the head of the viewer. And uh, in the case with the guy with the balloon taking a step out into the unknown, it's really like about, um, I, I thought a lot about what part of this story do I want to capture? Should it be when he's waiting and he's like thinking if he should take a balloon and go? Or, yeah. But I thought that the best moment is really when he's taking a step out and uh, because there's no return, like you only know he will either fly or fall. And yeah. I think it really says more about the people looking at the picture, yeah, what, exactly. what they think, you know? I mean, of course it seems like it's, it's like impossible. I mean, he's going to fall, right? It's hard to say. I think like in terms of edit, I really like, uh, I would say like the perspective illusions in general, like like when I manage, because I like the idea that yeah. the brain is always trying to make sense of things, even though it can't make sense. <laughs> so like the architect, for example, or, or some of these perspective illusions, I think they really like in a like post-production sense, I think they work out really well. Yeah. But like in terms of maybe like my overall favorites might be like Full Moon Service or even this uh, yeah. Leap of Faith with the guy with the balloon because yeah. it was a lot about the atmosphere in the location where I photographed it. And uh, so so I have like my favorites are always changing a little bit, I think. Yeah. Um, but but m most of the time the favorite is the, the, the upcoming products, the new ones, so yeah. yeah.
trying is really like the best way of learning. And I think like spending a lot of time in Photoshop, uh, just like exploring all the menus. I remember the first time I even opened Photoshop, I just basically opened a picture and then I just went through every single menu item just to see what everything did. And uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's really a program where you can learn it by trying. I mean, not entirely, of course, because I think it's some things you have to kind of learn how to do it, but... But uh, experimenting is is really fun, and and uh, I think uh, yeah, just 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 have fun and spend a lot of time trying the different tools to see what they do, and I think uh, that can be inspirational also for creating something just by trying what what is possible and what the limitations of the program, uh, what, yeah, what limitations the program have. Sorry about the vid the video quality is maybe not the best, but yeah, don't worry, okay. you know, uh, <laughs> my accent wasn't so great, so uh, so it's okay. Thank you very much again, Eric, for ah, your time. And no worries. Yeah, for thanks a lot for having me. It's great. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.